Hey everyone, Raptor here and I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you this tutorial on the Lamplighters League. Welcome to Del Vasto's Landing, a stunningly beautiful villa in the Mediterranean that serves as a hideout for you, your agents, and your boss in the Lamplighters League. Very classy. Your hideout is the central hub for all strategic operations for your agents in the Lamplighters League, and is critically important for upgrading your agents' abilities unlocking new ones, and supplying them with equipment they can use in the field. Mastering the basics of your hideout is the deciding factor between complete victory or utter doomsday. But, perhaps, the end is not yet written. Today we will be focusing on an overview of the hideout's functions including the world map, the agent screen, allies and their abilities, and the suppliers and equipment screens. But before we start with those, it's time to cover the currencies which can be earned by completing missions or collected while in the field. These include supplies, intel, healing items, aether, skill points, king's aether, ink, which are tied to special cards part of the undrawn hand, and seric steel. Many of these can be spent in exchange for equipment, special items, and extremely powerful late game upgrades. Let's discuss the ever important world map. Here you can strategize your next move with your agents via missions. There are many different missions accessible from here including sabotage, hijack, assassination, and theft missions. A mission briefing, details regarding rewards and other info can be found about each mission here. We will cover these in greater detail in another video regarding the mission map and the doomsday clock. Next is the agent screen. From here we can check in on each of our agents. This helps to plan your next mission being able to see their health, armor, class, damage potential, and speed, as well as their special abilities and the ability to upgrade them. Each ability upgrade has a helpful description and stats to easily compare each upgrade. Spend those points wisely and don't be afraid to try out different missions with various agents. Equipment for each agent can be selected here as well, including armor, accessories, weapons mods, pocket items, some of which can be purchased in the supplier tab. Nice. Now, on to the allies tab. The allies tab can be used to discover how you can use your latest recruited ally to aid in the fight. Operating from the hideout, they act as support for your agents in the field by providing care and items such as healing, selling you gear and equipment, weapons miss, and the cardomancer, which we'll discuss in another video with the Andron hand. Lastly, the suppliers. In the suppliers section of the hideout, you can acquire rare and dubiously legal items and weapons such as grenades and even flash bombs. Your getaway pilot, for example, Captain Nikki, is good for more than just flying the plane as you can start with getting basic supplies here as well as other equipment such as armor, weapon mods, and more here. Don't spend it all in one place. With all these basic tips and an overview of your hideout in the Lamplighters League, I'd say you have a good chance of taking out your enemies, taking on rewarding missions, and taking your agents home safely after each encounter with death, danger, and the coming doomsday. They're counting on you. The next tutorial will cover the Andron Hand, another unique way to make your agents even more powerful than they could ever imagine in combat. If you'd like to join the Lamplighters League, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and fight the good fight. Don't forget to check the description for more info and leave a comment to let me know your thoughts on the best dressed agent so far. Good luck out there, and thanks for watching.